what, what, what should we do next? I'll, I'll let you guys help out here, right? Because he did such a great job last time. Should we work on the house? You know, we have our Archmage clothes. We got the Ethereum crown. That's okay, Stuffy. I will stuff you with background noise. Hey, <clears throat> should we... This is the... No, guys, this is the legendary playthrough I for, for my video series. It's just I'm streaming the process and then we record it later. And then, no, then I edit it and I'll upload. You can say hi, mom, here. You know? Nobody can see you. For those who are an expert, I had a few ideas. We got the Ethereum crown, so we have two bonuses coming from the Lord and the Atronach. We're getting 50 extra points of Magicka. Uh, our Magicka regens at 50%, which is half, and which isn't great, but we get 50% absorption in spells. And we get damage resistance and magic resistance from the Lord Stone, which is 50 points of damage resistance and 25% of magic. That's what we're doing now. Well, that's what we did last time. So, what we should probably do is go to Riften. Dad went to get milk, but did he ever come home? What I think we should do now is we should go to Riften, and we should get the 15% magic resist. The, the permanent magic resist. You know, I think it's 15% for helping out the three couples. It's a pretty, pretty mellow quest. Not much really happens, and we haven't actually been to Riften yet. That's what we're doing now, I think. I mean, I don't really know what else to do at this moment. I mean, there's plenty of things we could do, but right now I think we should just work on getting more defense since we're getting later into the game. Your keyboard feels softer. Why does your keyboard feel softer? It's been 18 years since he left for milk. Are you sure he's gone for milk? You sure he's not gone for two cartons of milk? Hello, X3. Yeah, Twitch just doesn't work anymore with YouTube. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. I have no idea. We're being attacked by a dragon. Oh my god. She's moved to Snapchat now. Don't mute my damn phone. Will you stop? Ah! Alright. <laughs> How am I? I'm good. We're taking out a dragon. But he can't be a mage. He got to 100 archery. Hello, Frost Dragon. This is the first Frost Dragon we've encountered. Is Frost Dragon fighting Frost? Is that Frost or is that just a stable horse? Hello? No, that's just a stable horse. Who this? This is Huffgreer. Yeah, as I said though, but I'd like the 15% magic resistance from um, from the Mara quest. It's one of the four divine quests in the game. You don't think it's ever been used this much before? Understandable. Understandable. So let's get our Daedric Lords down. Let's attack the Frost Dragon. Let's try and take it out of the equation here. We have a lot of games, by the way, coming out over the course of July. Uh, we have Destroy All Humans and uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom coming out, man, in the next few, uh, in the next week, uh, two weeks. And I am so goddamn excited. You're gonna go make a quesadilla. I'm glad you finally decided to give up, Dreesus. So we're just gonna take out this dragon because fighting dragons has kind of just become so much easier at this point. There's four divine quests in total. Uh, the one in Riften for Mara. Uh, the one where you get married, the one where you go to that cabin and you take out the guardian animals, you know, the spirit versions, and then the Debella quest in Markarth. They're the four divine quests in the game. Is he actually still not in his... Is he still not in his phase? Hi, Jennifer. Over the course of the next two weeks, Destroy All Humans, uh, the remake, and the remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom are both being released. Hi, Atakan. Is this a vid? Well, I don't know. Is it a vid? This is getting turned into the next part, yeah. Because I really liked the way we did it uh, last time. And, um, yeah, nobody seemed to complain, so... We're going to do this live, and then we're going to edit it and be on our way. Do our thing. At least we have this frost dragon dead, which is pretty cool. See, I get to have conversation with you guys, and it makes for more interesting dialogue as I'm playing the game. Are we really doing the tax thing still? Speech increased to 43. So let's take everything. Guys, a good way of making some easy money, like just some quick easy money at the beginning of the game, is coming to the Rift Watchtowers. You probably already noticed. But they have chests at the top that are always, always heavy with decent loot. So we're going to break open this lock here. Oh, I thought it said Besorbed. Because the lockpick was in the way, I thought it said Besorbed. Hello, MU. 
But yeah, that's why I'm streaming this, and you're going to see this live stream cut up into the video. Because I found it just, we can kill two birds at one stone. I can stream some Skyrim for you guys. We've got an emerald, gold, silver ingot, copper and ruby circlet, and a common soul gem. And while it's that, I can cut down this VOD later, uh, real quickly, and we can just, you know, make a video out of it. So that's pretty goddamn great. That's pretty goddamn great. But right now we're going to get this boring quest out of the way with. I am really not a fan of this boring quest, going to be honest. I'd rather do uh, other things, but the 15% magic regenerate or magic um, resistance that you get permanently for doing this quest is just worth doing. I mean, it like, you know, it's 15% magic resistance uh, against a game where, where mages absolutely screw you over constantly. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's an understandable thing. I mean, we could do this with New Vegas as well. After I finished it, we could do the quest here. We could get the episode done, and then we could go and do New Vegas. And, um... Fabulous day. It has been a while since I did anything in the main quest. Uh, I haven't done Diplomatic Immunity. It's been a good while since we did it. And we probably should progress it. Bo, you get your damn BBTTV, BBTV, BTV things out of there. Hello, Garrett Smith. Are you paying taxes too, bro? We all gotta pay taxes. Yeah. Right, to the rift in place. The Temple of Mara. Find someone. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is it done? We had to come to rift in for it. So we have Miss Fail Keep now. I wanna get rid of Jazargo in some of the next few episodes. Um, so let's head on up to the temple here. Hi, everybody. Is Altmer the more optimal choice over Breton, or was it just for flavor? So, with um, the Altmer, I like the minor and major skill boosts they get. The, the the levels they get 20 boosted in, which is all magic skills, and the 25 they get it in. Compared to Breton, which is a bit different. The Breton has a great, great, great power up against mages. However, altogether, Highborn, I feel, is better because it increases the regeneration of your total magic regen. Which... I mean, is absolutely amazing when you're in battle for 60 seconds to get battles out of the way with. While as the Breton's great when you're up against spells. So, yes, it's Dragon Skin. So, Dragon Skin is good against mages, while Highborn is great against everybody. As well as that, Altmir are taller. And so, because of the way the physics works and is coded into this game, they move faster. As well as that, High Elves superiority. As well as that, High Elves are supreme. As well as that, Thalmor rule. Also, you drool. But yeah, overall, I think uh, you get more out of the highborn skill. So let's. I don't. I think it's the girl we have to talk to. You're welcome to wait here if you like. Your Twitch stream exploded and everybody died. Is it the guy in the in in the bee and barb? Is it the guy in the bee and the barb and who gives us the bee and the barb and the barb and the bee? There's Briel. I think it's the guy in the bee and the barb. I thought there was a woman. It's the way the physics engine works. That's why the that's why speed is dictated on that. Give me a quest. She's shopping. I knew it wasn't him. Thank you, Bob Hopkins. There she is. Dinya. Damn it, Dinya. Never done an honest day's work in your life. Ah. She gone back now? I kind of hope she is. It's not in the hall of the dead. It's in here. Yeah, here she is. She'll talk now. See? I told you, Vid Begonia. You were incorrect, and I was right, because I'm the Skyrim YouTuber. Get over it, bruh. Fight me, bruh. Just tell me what to do. I genuinely hate this quest. It is so, so boring. The reward is so, so worth it. But it's so, so boring. It's 12.06 a.m. My god, you should go to bed. So we gotta go find the girl or Klimek. It's so boring. Yeah, especially when you've done it like seven times. Are you the one sent by Mara? I'm here to throb you into joining Mara. That's what I'm here to do. You sound a little confused. Let me tell you. I still can't believe the voice actor here is the guy who voices Scream on the phone in the horror movie. I still can't get over that. Yeah, but you do genuinely have a disappointing taste in quests. I do agree with it on this. <clears throat> I absolutely agree. Your daughter asked me to speak to you. 
Talk to Basinius or Klimek. Wait, there's a choice of man? I thought it was always Klimek. Hold on there, what? So am I, so I assume picking Klimek is obviously the better choice, yeah? What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, I love that line so much. <laughs> right, relationship one, finito. I know his name is Ghostface, I just said scream. Do I have to be more- I apologize for not being so specific. I'm sorry, I was talking about Ghostface. You can stand there in debt. I ain't helping you. I don't need your invisibility potion. Heartwarming. The only reason it's heartwarming to you is because you're never going to find love. Hi, Dinya. Okay, so, we gotta go and sort out the old boomer inside of Markarth. This is absolutely worse than watching Twilight. And I read all of the Twilight books. Just remember that. I read every single one of them. Never forget this. I endured pain so you didn't have to. What the hell's happening? <laughs> As true love and all it took was a legendary dragonborn and some fish to get it. Was it worth it? No! <laughs> no, not at all. There is so much terrible grammar. Terrible grammar. It's an awful- Man, by the end of the story, alright? Alright, he falls in love with a fucking baby. The books are fucking awful. Dylan, what is wrong with your tastes in some things? Stephanie Meyer cannot write books. You'd have to be an 11 year old teenage girl to enjoy Twilight. Or a middle aged mom with like 12 brain cells. Sparkly vampires? Imprinting on a baby? They're, they're not decent. It's terrible English. Dumbledore asked calmly. Whenever I think of Stephanie Meyer, I think of J.K. Rowling. Such a weird story. Like, I liked some elements of mystery in it, but it's always ruined by the stupid shit. Like, the sparkly... Sparkly, sparkly vampire. Like, the, I liked the, the wolf side of it, kind of. And honestly, I think book... I think book Bella was okay, but it's not that it gets convoluted, because Book Bell is actually alright, like, it's, it's, it's a teenage fanfic at the end of the day, so you're going to, you know, you're going to hear some, some, oh, Edward made my nipples moist, you know, that's whatever, that's, that's come to, whatever, alright, <laughs> that's a thing that's going to happen, why, why am I talking to this guy, but it's just shit like the imprinting on babies, it's like, who's going to sit there and go, Oh, right He fell in love with a baby! Why are they sparkly? It's just the way Sun reacts to their skin. What was your- what's the name of your one who does Fifty Shades of Grey? E.L. Is it E- no, it's E- is it Elliot- it's either Elliot something or E.L. something? I was trying to think of the Goosebumps guy, E.L. Stein or whatever his name is, I can't remember. What's the name of your one who writes, uh... No matter, Jackie. Like, again, I, I don't have anything to talk about in this quest, guys. Like, there's actually nothing to talk about. I'm just recuperating interests here. It's just Kristen Stewart or Kirsten Stewart, whatever her name is, man. I am a traveler. I have quite... E.L. James. Is that R.L. Stein? Yes, who I was thinking of for Goosebumps, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I know it started as a fan fiction for Twilight. I remember. Anybody here a Wattpad reader? Anyone here a Wattpad? Anybody got some good stories from Wattpad? Yep, yeah, I'm a Wattpad writer. I write fan fiction. Make some great love stories out of my great Skyrim characters. Favorable things. Community. I don't really want to take opinions from you anymore because you think Twilight is a good book. All right. You think the Jingling Terraria is bad. All right. I'm getting sick and tired of you. All right. Abusing and using me. All right. And yeah, sure. What's it about anyway? <laughs> Goodbye, Calcemo. No, no, no. The f person who will Fifty Shades wrote no. Stephanie Myers wrote um, uh, Twilight, and and E. L. James wrote uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Whatever. God, I hate this quest. How did we turn? Th think of the people who aren't in the stream who are going to be watching this, and all they have to listen to is Fifty Shades and Twilight for like fifteen minutes. Dan Harmon. Why does he sound familiar? Let's go back to Riften and like all I'm doing is getting this 50% resistance boys. There's nothing else to do here like I'm not doing anything else. I can talk exactly about the relationships if you'd like, you know. I mean I read the books as well decoy but it's been a long time since I did but and I may misinterpret it and get some stuff wrong but. 
Ah, oh, right. When did he make it? Fendel is a Wattpad writer. The Lusty Argonian made is a Wattpad story. You love Fendel. And you also love Sven, Ellie, so, I mean, accept it. This is... I... Uh, this is an escort mission. And we all know how much all of you guys love escort missions, don't we? We all know how much you all love escort missions. Escort missions are... Oh, for God's sake, it's so far away. Sven is not a disgrace to your kind. I still haven't finished the, new se the latest season of uh, Rick and Morty. I'm after finishing four seasons of South Park. I'm completely caught up in the seasons now. They took our germs. What are you looking at, bitch? When white people renovate homes. This in bad literature. Dumbledore asked calmly. I will never stop, ever, ever stop finding that funny. When you look at the movie interpretation of that scene. Community came out in 2009. Jesus Christ. He only got smarter and funnier. It's really good, honestly. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I only like things with a jingle, you know? I need me a good jingle. The jingle you make, Dylan, you know? Guys, could we get a Dumbledore asked Camly in chat, please? Could we Could we get a Could we get a Dumbledore asked Camly in chat, please? Dumbledore asked Camly in chat, could we get one, please? Could we Could we please? Yeah. Th thank you. Would appreciate it. There's a reason why Dumbledore was called Headmaster. <laughs> Look how much damage I do. I am the greatest arch- I am the greatest mage this world has ever seen. Cumbledore asked Damley. Could you please stop talking like that? I find it really inappropriate and offensive. That's not very PC of you. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Wolfie. Woohoo! Jizargo! Dumbledore asked Camly. Dumbledore asked Chamley. I'll tell you, man, my favorite book series to this day is a trilogy of books called by uh, an author called Brent Weeks. And he does this trilogy called the Night Angel Trilogy. Now, he has another uh, series called the Lightbringer series. But he this this fantasy series called the Lightbringer or the, the Night Angel trilogy is I've never been able to replace it as my favorite book series ever. It's always this one, Corona. I, I don't know why Twitch glitches out on me here. Escort mission time. I don't see any bodies here. He must be here somewhere. All right, let's go and. Uh, Find him. He's over the... Find Fenrig. Why is Fenrig all the way over here? Does he randomly go up? The Outsiders. A wonderful... The Outsiders? About Greece or culture? Is The Outsiders not that book series on the teenagers? Like, the... The teenagers? Um... They made a movie for it. And... Oh, God rest his soul. What was his name, man? He was in Dirty Dancing. What was his name? He died years ago. He was a really famous 90s actor. They go on a train later. So Patrick Swayze. That's it. Thank you. Yes. That, the Outsiders. Yeah. That's the one. I had to study The Outsiders when I was in, um, when I was in school. And uh, it was just amazing. It truly was amazing. Uh, and if any of you haven't read it, uh, I highly recommend you go and do it. Because it's just, it's, it's an incredible story. The Farsi Trilogy from Robin Hobb. I also started the Witcher books from a kind of... That, that sounds awesome. I'll tell you, I have the first book from the Wheel of Time. If, if that's what it's called, it's by... Uh, is his name Robert something? Oh, Jesus. I don't know, but I still need to read them. It's not Good Joker. It's Gooker. Jazagra's kind of ruining all my shots here, and it's really annoying. No, see, there was grass in the way there. Oh, there's a dragon in the distance. Warms the heart. Robert Jordan, yeah. I've always wanted to, um, to, to read that book story there. Because, how are you doing today, Sam? Because everyone said it's absolutely incredible, the wheels of time. Apparently, there's a TV show for it as well. I'm sorry you had to see me doing all the editing stuff. I hope it doesn't put you off. I forgot to stop talking, so I won't have cut it out, so you're going to see it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch just is, Twitch breaks all the time. I don't know, Wade. I wish I knew what was wrong. 
But we did it. So we're going to have our 15% magic re uh, resistance now. The Larkin Krebsley series. Darren Shan box. Uh! Is this I my favorite Darren Shan part? And I would still read it now. I know it's for like a teen. A teen? I'd say young. Would you say young adult? I'd say teen. But I'd happily read Darren Shan again. I love that series. And then they made the movie. And then they made that movie. Yay! We got the Agent Amara. So, I don't know, Sen. You were the first person I've ever heard not like the Wheels of Time. So, I don't know, man. Your opinion might suck, bro. I read the Cirque the Freak series, as in, like, the actual Darren, like, the... Not Darren, what? The actual character going to the circus with Krepsley as, um, his master. And Steve was the, uh... Steve was the main enemy. You know that one? That's the one I was talking about. I mean, yeah, I own I own every single one of them, like all of them, all the way up until like I I don't want, I don't want, like I mean I I don't think I could spoil much on it because it's been so long. But at the same time, I don't want to say the spoilers. But I have them all. I have them in the form of the three of the books were put into one, three of the books were put into one, and three of the books were put into one. So. I haven't read them, and I don't even know if I will. Uh, I thought that was the easiest way to do it, um, uh, Emu. Yeah, I, ha I own a bunch of manga, and I read them all the time. But I got my magic resistance. I don't know what I'm going to do next time. I'm probably going to get my enchanting to 100. These are probably going to be coming out like every two and three days instead of like every one. Because I'm trying to make something else. But, I mean, this may be goodbye for anyone watching. But for anyone on stream, they're stuck with me for like another like hour or two. So, I mean, shut up.